in an experiment to determine the relationship between frequency and the inductive reactance of an electrical circuit, the following results were obtained. So we have a table here of data points. Let's determine the equation of the least squares regression line of inductant reactance on frequency assuming a linear relationship. So our first step is to activate those data tables so we can store the data we are given in this problem statement. To do this, first hit that mode button to come to a screen that looks similar to this. Once on this screen, press 3 to select option 3 for statistics and we will be brought to a screen that looks similar to this one right here. And here you will press 2 to select option 2 for A plus bx. We now want to input our data points and this is where you will fill in all your data points you're given in within this problem. So the x column is where all the x values will be input. The y column is where all the y values will be input. So start with your first data point which is 50 and input that into your calculator and press the equals button. This will take you to the next data line in the X column where you will input the remaining X data points as we just did and press the equals button. Once all the data points are input into the X column, hit that right button to switch over to the Y column. And because you're on the seventh data line, you will need to press the down scroll arrow once. You will now be on the first row of the Y column, which represents the Y data points again correlated with those X data points. Input all of these values just as you did with the X values and once you're complete, hit the AC button. We can now define the variables of the regression line. With all of our data points input into the calculator, let's let it do the dirty work. To do this, click the shift button and then the one button to activate the stat distribution functionality which is indicated in yellow. You will be brought to a screen that looks similar to this one. Press 5 to select option 5 for regression. You'll be brought to a menu that looks similar to this and with all of our data stored within our calculator it is here that we can get a number of metrics for it. We are also able to solve for certain independent or dependent value based on that data. Now the first variable we must define for our regression line is A. So press 1 to select option 1 for A. We'll be brought back to the home screen with A displayed. Press the equals button and we are going to get a value of 5. We now need to determine the variable B. To do this, click the shift button and the one button to activate the stat distribution functionality once again. We'll be brought back to that same menu we saw before. Here we'll select option five for option for regression. We'll be brought to this menu that you see right here on your screen. Now we're gonna press two for option two, which is B will be brought back to our home screen with B displayed. We can press the equals button to get our value, which is 0.586, which makes the equation of our regression line Y is equal to 0.59X plus five. Remember in that same regression menu in our calculator, we can get that goodness of fit R by selecting the option in the same way we did for A and B. In this case, we get a value of 0.994, telling us that our fit is good and again, nearly a perfect straight line. So let's go ahead and flip over to a video and watch how this problem all plays out. 